municipal solid waste, a menace in the growth of the country. After many challenges modernity is faced with, disposal of municipal solid wastes or MSW happens to be one of the most gruesome ones. Management and disposal of MSW has become a major challenge for the urban local bodies the world over. As per the report submitted by the Central Pollution Control Board, the total quantity of waste generation is about 1,35,198 tons per day, out of which 1,11,028 tons per day, that is 80% is collected. 25,572 tons per day, that is 20% is treated and 47,456 tons per day, that is 35% is landfilled. In Durgapur Municipal Corporation area, the waste generation is in the order of 250 tons per day. The MSW is classified into two categories, live and dead. This classification is based on source of collection of wastes. The wastes collected daily from households, markets, bins, vats, etc. by the municipalities are called live wastes. And the wastes dumped for long periods at landfill sites are called dead wastes. Municipal solid wastes constitute a terrible health hazard for all, people, flora and fauna. The disposal is fraught with risks. Burning the wastes at the dump sites causes a high level of pollution. Contaminated wastes and toxic residues from incinerators can pollute groundwater easily and to alarming degrees. Oil-fired and electric incinerators used to dispose wastes at low temperatures often result in release of harmful carcinogenic gases. The challenge is indeed very daunting. However, CSIR, Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute, Durgapur, and Apex Research and Development Institute for Mechanical Engineering under the aegis of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, or CSIR, is standing up to the challenge. CSIR, CMERI, has an innovative solution to handle MSW in an eco-friendly way. CMERI has designed, developed and installed a mechanized segregation. MSW Management Pilot Plant at its residential campus where day-to-day -day wastes generated at CMERI Colony are being processed with the aim to achieve zero waste CMERI campus. Let's take a look at the process of disposal of live wastes. The domestic wastes collected from the campus contains organics and plastics with a little amount of other inert materials. The waste requires judicious segregation treatment for disposal. CSIR CMERI has developed mechanized segregation plant where before treatment of the wastes they are segregated into four primary categories metallic wastes such as metal bodies and containers, biodegradable wastes like vegetables, fruits, other foodstuffs and grass, non-biodegradable wastes that include plastics, packaging materials, pouches and bottles, and inert wastes such as glass and stones. Generally, the waste materials from households are disposed of in plastic bags. The bags are first dropped in a crusher where the bags are torn off and the materials come out into the hopper. Hot air is passed over the materials so that the surface moisture is reduced substantially which facilitates the further segregation process. While passing the MSW over a horizontal roller conveyor, it is exposed to hot air in the temperature range of 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. Dried materials are passed over 
a rotary magnetic drum separator and eddy current separator where the ferrous components and non-ferrous metallic components are separated. The rest of the wastes are sent to the air separation unit through the inclined bucket conveyor. The materials fall from the hopper into the air separation unit due to gravity. During this free fall, the heavy mass falls quickly but plastics remain in the floating conditions due to air resistance. These floating plastics are being forced to flow into the perpendicular direction using high pressure air blower. The separated plastic waste is collected in the perforated hopper. The remaining material comes onto an inclined vibratory screen. The sanitary items, large packets, bottles, etc. get blocked over the mesh and generated vibration facilitate its travel along the inclined surface and finally get collected inside the attached hopper. The undersized materials, mainly biomass, is collected in the bottom hopper. CSIR CMERI has developed technology for utilization of landfill wastes. It will now be useful to take a look at the disposal of dead wastes. The mechanized segregation system segregates the dead waste into metallic wastes such as metal bodies and metal containers, fines, that is degraded organic wastes, non-biodegradable wastes, for instance plastics, packaging materials, pouches and bottles, and the inert wastes such as construction debris and stones glasses, etc. The intervention with CMERI technology can make such segregation a reality. The process starts with the collection of dead waste from the dump yards. Generally, Durgapur Municipal Corporation carry the waste from the dump yard for further treatment at CMERI Colony MSW Complex. The wastes first are put into a rotary sieve through the vibratory chute, which results in the separation of the biodegraded fines. The fines contain mainly biodegraded fines, which can be used as manure. After the separation of fines, the remaining wastes are passed over a rotary magnetic drum separator and eddy current separator, where the ferrous components and non-ferrous metallic components are separated. What remains thereafter is sent to the air separation system. The non-biodegradable wastes and inert wastes are separated through gravimetric method. After air separation, the plastic wastes are air separated and shredded to specific size. Thereafter, the plastic wastes are sent for its disposal through the pyrolysis or plasma gasification process. Earlier, the wastes such as biomass along with cow dung in surplus quantity are sent to the biomethanation unit. Here the organic wastes are used for biogas production. A complex microbiological process called biomethanation is used for the efficient production of biogas. Biogas production from organic waste is a well-developed technology. In this process, CSIR CMERI has incorporated different technological interventions to make the process more mechanized and efficient. Biomass grinder Kamstara has been developed and incorporated in the feeding chamber where the biomass are being grinded and simultaneously is being mixed with fresh water and recycled slurry in the stara as a single unit. In the anaerobic digester, when the biogas is produced, the floating dome is moved upward. In this area, CSIR CMERI has designed an automatic gas extraction system. The ultrasonic position sensor senses the position of the dome and accordingly the compressor switched on or off. The compressor sucks the gas from the floating dome and stores the gas in the storage tank. The slurry coming out of the digestion chamber is stored in the slurry tank. Slurry pumps have been installed which send the slurry in the feeding chamber as per the required which helps in recycling of slurry water resulting in reduction of fresh water consumption. Biogas is a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide, water vapor, hydrogen sulfide and other gases generated from anaerobic digestion of biomass. 
the methane gas can now be used as a fuel gas for cooking purpose in the kitchen. The methane gets enriched after carbon dioxide scrubbing. The enriched methane gas can now be used in gas engine for electricity generation. After anaerobic digestion, the spent slurry becomes excellent organic manure that is rich in nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. After it is dried, the manure is used in agricultural fields. Solid waste materials generated on a daily basis can also be disposed of with the help of electric arc plasma technology wherein electric ionization is carried out through low voltage in the range of 30 to 50 volts and high current in the range of 200 to 300 amperes between two electrodes. The temperature is raised to as high as 3000 degrees Celsius during the ionization process. The chances of production of toxic gases like dioxin and furan at such high temperatures and anaerobic conditions are bleak. The segregated plastic wastes are first shredded to remove the entrapped air and to increase the effective surface area. In the plasma gasification process, it is essential to maintain anaerobic conditions. The continuous feeding of the shredded polymer waste is utilized involving the two knife-edged valves operating alternately in tandem. The upper valve is opened, which allows the feed material to enter and after closing the top valve, the lower one is opened to allow the feed to reach the hearth by gravity. The hearth houses three graphite electrodes inclined to each other at an angle of 120 degrees, which acts as the cathode. At the base is the carbon anode, which when comes in contact with the cathode, produces the plasma zone. The electrode position is controlled by rotating the holding knob from outside. The output gases are mainly carbon monoxide, hydrogen, hydrocarbons and carbon dioxide. The product gas after passing through the plasma treatment is made to pass through the carbon sieves, that is redox reactors. This process leads to enrichment of carbon monoxide. The catalytic converter is used to convert any traces of higher hydrocarbon to lower forms and finally into carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Catalyst, like nickel, is used for this purpose. The gas is then cleaned in cyclone separator and scrubber and then cooled in the condenser. The carbon monoxide and hydrogen enriched syngas has high calorific value. The gas is primarily stored in a gas holder and used for generation of electricity with the help of gas engine. Based on the same plasma-based technology, polybag destroyer and other models of different capacities have already been developed by CSIR CMERI which can be installed as per the requirement. Shredded polymer wastes can also be utilized in the pyrolysis unit. Pyrolysis is the thermal degradation of wastes in the absence of air that generates a gas often called syngas, a liquid also called bio-oil, and a solid material called char consisting of ash and carbon. The plastic wastes are heated at a temperature of around 350 degrees to 450 degrees Celsius in the absence of oxygen and the condensable substances in the form of oil while the non-condensable particles forms the gas which can be utilized in burning thus utilizing the energy for the heating process of the system or else can be utilized for electricity generation with the help of gas engine. The pyrolysis oil can be utilized as petrol alternate fuel or PAF which can be utilized in industrial boilers and generators as it has equivalent calorific value of diesel. The CMERI technologies also help in utilization of construction and demolition wastes or simply C and D wastes. The composition of C and D wastes can vary depending upon the types of buildings being constructed or the age of the building being demolished or renovated. CSIR CMERI has developed 20 ton per day C and D waste crushing system. Where the CND waste can be directly dumped into the feeding hopper from the waste carrying tractor or dumper. The dumped waste then shall be sent from the hopper to the crusher through the vibratory chute and inclined belt conveyor. 
the debris is then crushed in the jaw crusher. The crushed materials then sent into the rotary trommel using the vibratory chute. The trommel has mesh size of 2 mm and 5 mm. The different size material has come out from the trammel. The oversized materials come out from the other end. The oversized materials are being used as the aggregates for PCC. Different works like construction of pavement, car parking and embankment of tar road etc. are being carried out utilizing these aggregates. The segregated fines coming out of the trammel are mixed with at appropriate proportion with binder and water in the mixing machine. The resultant mixture is the feedstock for bricks. The mixture of optimum quantity is then fed in the die cavity of the brick making machine. The material is then pressed using the punch. The pressure is being generated and controlled in the hydraulic power pack. This gives the mixture a definite shape. The bricks are then cured in normal water for 7 to 10 days to have the desired strength. Once found to be in order, these bricks could then be used as construction materials. CSIR CMERI has developed technologies to convert agro wastes into briquettes that can be used as effective fuel for cooking purposes. At the CMERI complex, highly sustainable fuel briquettes are created from the dried leaves and dead branches scattered all over the institute and colony area. They are mixed with the slurry of the biogas plant, cow dung, in appropriate proportion, which acts as a binder. This is fed in the briquette making machine developed by CSIR CMERI. They are not only cost effective, but very desirable for reasons of simplicity in use and eco friendly aspect. The produced briquettes are first air dried before being utilized in smokeless stove developed by CSIR CMERI. The stove has two combustion chambers. In the primary chamber, the briquettes are burned and the same fumes are used in the secondary chamber for heating. It has very nominal smoke emission which is eco-friendly and maintains a healthy working atmosphere for the end user. The use of CMERI technologies has made the CMERI campus a zero-waste colony and the scientists at the institute are working incessantly to improve the technologies even further. It is expected that the technologies developed by CMERI for disposal of municipal solid wastes will soon spread far and wide and help meet the challenges that these wastes pose to humankind.